It would be correct to state that the United States invented the technology that allows for you to recycle spent nuclear fuel. Back in the 70s, Jimmy Carter recognized that that same kind of technology is what's used for plutonium extraction for making nuclear weapons, and so he basically banned it. But Ronald Reagan decided, you know, we really need to recycle this stuff, so he made it legal again. The problem with that was that because it was banned, all of the investors that had recycling facilities lost all of their investment money. And that is what we call political instability, where you cannot predict what the regulations are going to be when you're going to invest in new technology. And so in the United States, we really don't use it anymore. You're not going to be able to convince a, a, an investor that, uh, that a, a new political movement is not going to ban it. In fact, it's only within the past few years that the Democratic National Party removed effectively anti-nuclear stances from their party platform. And now they're pro-nuclear for advanced nuclear, according to their current party platform. And so not being able to predict if you can do recycling in the future in a way that is going to be cost effective and even profitable is really the issue when it comes to recycling spent nuclear fuel in the United States. Many other countries use it. They use the same technology that we developed to do recycling. But when you have political instability, when you can't predict how a political party or a power is going to behave according to some technology, it really hamstrings the capitalistic way of developing things.